What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the 7 Minute Squad series in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. So, we are going to be hopefully getting someone decent from PAX today. Um, I've seen a lot of comments recently on the series saying that people wanted you know, a bit, bit of a change and see me opening some packs to get my player to build the hybrid around. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. If you're looking to buy any FIFA 15 coins, remember to go in the description down below and use the discount code at Jack54HD for 5% off your order. So, who did we get? We managed to get De Guzman. Okay, that is not a bad pack. I think I'm definitely going to be using him um, to be featured in our squad. Saw the many items in the club. Um, quick sell them. Yeah, I think, that could, I think that this could be pretty decent, actually. I think this could work quite nicely. Um, yeah, you know what? We're, we're going to use the Guzman, okay? Um, and let's go and have a look and see what formation. 3-4-1-2 could be, could be a good formation to use, I think. Um, I've already got a decent idea which is going to work perfectly, okay? It's going to work perfectly, I can promise you. So, yeah. I'm pretty excited about this. I don't know why. I just am pretty excited. Is it bad to be excited? Um, no. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and get the time up and ready. Let's go into the transfer market quickly. There we go. Right, the timer is going to start in... Let me just get this up for you. The timer's going to start in 3, 2, 1. There we go, the timer has started. So, first player we're going to go ahead and buy. I've already got this locked down, I know. Um, centre mid, Syria, Napoli, quickly, Napoli. And it's going to be a Belgian guy. Oh, a Belgian. Sorry, should I say. Um, Belgian, and he's going to be called Mertens. Okay. 8,700 coins. If I already have him in my club, I'll be incredibly annoyed. I don't. I must have sold him. Because I remember using him a couple of episodes ago, maybe. Or for a squad builder or something. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and buy a Belgian from the Box Premier League. And that is going to be called... Well, he's going to be called Fellaini. Um, he's going to be our left centre mid. So, let's store him in a club, and then we can move off and buy our striker, who's going to be in the box Premier League as well, and he's going to play for Manchester United, so let's go Belgium, I mean, not Belgium, um, right, we need to buy Van Persie, basically, and he is worth 71,000 coins, that's not, that's not bad, a sign now, add him to the club, sorry, my mum's texting me um, for dinner tonight. <laughs> um, right, okay, so Let's go Manchester United Okay, we need to go ahead and buy another Dutch player Another Dutch striker So Box Premier League No, we don't want to We don't want to buy another Box Premier League player We can have a look and see if we can branch out into any other Leagues um, So Huntela Wouldn't be too bad It wouldn't be too bad mm. Or oh, Viginaldum Viginaldum is he a striker or is someone just put him in the striker? No, he's definitely not a striker. Um, but it could it could work out quite nicely. It could work out quite nicely. Hold on a second. If we go Belgium, okay, and then go um, is it it's the Eredivisie, isn't it? I think it is. Come on, Eredivisie, where are you? You're there. Belgium centre mid. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, there's not many that we could buy, to be fair. That's weird, because in previous FIFAs, there's been, like, a lot of decent Belgium CDMs and centre mids in that league, so I'm fairly surprised, I will be quite honest with you. Um, yeah, that's a, bit, that's a bit annoying, isn't it, to be fair? That is a bit annoying. So, where are we going to go from here now? Where are we going to go? I suppose we're going to have to have a look and see if there's any other... Dutch strikers that we could go ahead and pick up because that maybe that's silver. Sorry, not from that league. Um, come on, quickly, quickly. Do, 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 do. Striker silver, Netherlands. Okay, El Kabir. Could be, could be an option that we want to that we want to go down potentially. Okay, we need to find him again though because I can't find him anymore. Here we are. Here he is. Okay. He has got four star skimmers, four star week for 7,400 coins, and he plays for Al Ali in the Arabian League. Um... Okay. Let's have a look now. Um... Okay. 
Okay. Centre mids. Let's have a look quickly. And then out Ali, centre mid. And see if there's anyone that we could pick up. So this guy. But to be honest, he's not really the greatest of players, to be fair. So, right, we need to make our decision quickly, actually, now, to be fair. Um, Diakite, no. Elton, hold on, hold on one second, okay. Let me just have a look and see what right backs they have, first of all, and then I can make my decision. Okay, so, what right backs do they have? Not many good ones. Um, okay, centre mid. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay, silver centre mid. They've got Elton. That's not too bad, is it? Elton. He has five star skill moves as well. I think I'm gonna go with this guy. Let's just do it. Sign now, and that will be done. Oh crap! What team does he play for though? He plays four. Okay, got it. Got it. Um, let's find that team, and let's find the right back. Oh no, no, that means it's going to be a bronze one, isn't it? That means it's going to be a bronze one. Why do you do this to me, EA? Why? Shit. Um, this is an absolute nightmare, I'm going to be honest with you. This is an absolute nightmare. Yeah. What a nightmare. <laughs> what a nightmare. Okay. We're just going to quickly do something else to finish the rest of the team quickly. Okay. Syria. Gold. Centre-backs. Let's have a look and see who we can pick up. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and buy Castan. There we go. And let's say... Um, I don't know. Chiellini. Yeah, we'll go and buy Chiellini as well. Okay, Chiellini needs to be bought very quickly. Um, okay, we'll just buy Barzakli then. That's probably so overpriced, but I need to quickly get this team done. Goalkeeper, Syria. We've got one minute left. Shite. Um, let's go ahead and buy Buffon. That's, again, very, very overpriced. Left back then. Barclays Premier League. Let's go to... Um, okay, we need the Italian guy, don't we? The Italian left back from the Barclays Premier League. And it's... He's called Santon. There we go. That's our left back done. Now we can focus on what we want to do. Okay, so let's go back into this league quickly. Come on, Jack. Hurry up. Um, any gold to the attacking mids? Okay, Neves. Okay, okay, hold on a second. If we add him to our transfer targets, who does he play for? Okay, got it. Ow. Um, right back. Yes, that's better. Oh, brilliant. Okay, perfect. A sign now. I'm just thinking. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I've done something wrong, lads. Who was the other? Did I buy Castan? I did buy Castan, didn't I? Well, this is the one mistake I've made, which I do apologise, but I think this looks like a nice team that we're going to be building anyway. Um, basically, I've gone and bought one wrong player, which I, I know I've made the wrong decision right now. So, we're going to go ahead and buy, um, let's say Raul Albiol instead. No, no, not, not Raul Albiol. Um... <laughs> Okay, no, I haven't made the wrong decision. I've bought the wrong goalkeeper because I was rushed by the timer, which I do apologise for. Um, but basically, instead of um, whatever his name is, Buffon, we're going to get the other Italian goalkeeper that plays for Roma. Okay, that's why I went wrong. I'm very sorry. Um, so, yeah, we're going to buy Sanctus here. Okay, I'll be back in a second once I've got this team in a starting lineup. Okay, guys, so this is the finished team. As you can see here in goal, we've got De Sanctis. Two centre backs, we've got Barzagli and also Castan. Right back, uh, we've got Sharani. Uh, left back, we've got Santon. Three centre mids. Sorry, I didn't mean to come out of it then. We have got Fellaini. Um, we have also got Mertens. And we've also got, we also got Thiago Neves. But. 
If you guys are building this team, I very much recommend putting nine Golan in that middle centre mid spot because he'll be probably play a bit better there than Mertens will for me. Um, but I'm not going to change it because it's a player that I bought during the seven minutes. Centre to commit, we've got De Guzman and then the two strikers, we've got Van Persie and also El Kabir, which I'm very excited to use. Um, this looks like a really, really fun team. So guys, let me know in the comment section below whether you like the look of this team, whether you think I've done a good job and um, we're going to move straight into a match. This is our opponent and he's got a full Serie A side. He's got Castan, um, which is a player that we have. He's got Ashley Cole, he's got Casares. He's got quite a few good players. It's going to be a hard match, but I'm sure we can come out on top. Um, we've got a very likeable team and I think it's going to play very well. Why has he played it there? Can someone tell me? Wow, really? Why is why is my player played it there? I, I genuinely didn't actually ask him to play it there. Be honest, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Go, lovely stuff. Look at that, El Kabir is running through. Finish that now. Come on, man. Van Persie, what a header that is then. What a header from the rebound. But Kabir really should have finished that straight away. Um, bit disappointing that he didn't, but at least we've got the goal back now and it's, it's level. Um, and I think, you know, hopefully we can now go on and win this. I'm not sure I like this formation. It, it requires you to play very central and I think on FIFA and just in general my play style is a lot kind of down the wings and cutting in um, so yeah I don't really I don't really like this formation for them reasons but I'm sure I can get used to it you know El Kabir here is through on goal and we're gonna go around the goalkeeper it is so easy to go around the goalkeeper this year when I just think there should be a lot more pressure I think maybe it would be quite cool if if you're one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, your, your controller starts vibrating or something. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, because, obviously, in real life, you'd have that kind of pressure. And I think the vibration of the controller, obviously, you could, you'd be able to turn it off. But it would just let you know, you know, this is like a one-on-one -on -one, one situation. Especially if, if it's this easy to score one-on-ones. You can literally just bolt past them. Whereas, in previous FIFAs, um, well, in FIFA 14, if you tried to run past them like that, they would just use their hands and get the ball off you. Or, like, kick it out. So... Yeah, it's a bit strange that that's, that's like that now, but um, it's also good when you're in that position, but it's not good when you're trying to defend that position. Um, but that is going to be the half-done whistle. As you can see, I've been pretty much all over him. He's had two shots, one on target. I've had eight shots, four on target. Um, so I'm hoping in the second half I can really just take control of this match and hopefully go on and win. No, no, no. Oh, my God, my keeper. No. No. Oh my god, man. Watch this. My keeper did so well. If only he didn't have that other player coming in for the rebound. Crap. So guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Um, we played out a draw. That was the annoying thing. Um, I, I still am annoyed that we conceded that goal. Just because my keeper did so well to try and claw it back. Um, when it looked, looked like it was scoring and then... Unfortunately, he had a player coming up for the rebound, but it was an interesting match. It was quite fun. I've definitely found out a few things about some players which I have never used before. I felt like Van Persie was like the easiest player ever to push off the ball. His shot was diabolical, and I'm so surprised he got that match rating. I don't know how he got that, that highest match rating, uh, but there are the final match stats. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, have a nice day, hope you all enjoyed the video, if you did be sure to drop a like on the video and if you want to see another video later, then if we can smash 1000 likes, that is what I will do for you. Thank you all for the, uh, for the new subscribers recently, I have just hit like 190,000 subscribers so 200,000 subscribers is very near um, and I can't wait. So thank you all for your support, have a nice day, hope you enjoyed the video and peace.